Okay, we have Donna on line six, and she needs help making a decision. Donna? Yes. Hi, Donna. How old are you? Eighteen. You're eighteen? Yeah, I just turned eighteen in December. You got a forty year old voice. <laughs> okay. What's up? Well, um, see, I met my boyfriend about a year ago, and I knew he had another a girlfriend that lived at his house at the time. But um, supposedly she's really crazy, and she's tried to poison him, and she's stabbed him, and done all kinds of things. And here it is a year later, and she's moved out, and now I live at his house with his mother. But he still hasn't gotten rid of her, and we're expecting a baby in July. And um, Thursday night, I guess she went into thrifties and stole a compact, and he went in there, and they had her pinned against the wall by her throat, so he jumped in, and now he's in jail for armed robbery with a $30,000 bail, wanting me to get him out. Boy, you can pick him, kid. <laughs> um, why, why did you make this decision? I don't understand. Which, which decision? To be with him. Well, because he was really wonderful when I met him. But having a crazy girlfriend around who tries to poison and murder him, doesn't that tell you something about his stability? I mean... Well, he supposedly he's been trying to get rid of her for a long time, yeah, but... but the, the fact of the matter is that he couldn't, so that indicates there's something really wrong with him that they're really attached. Yeah. Okay? They used to do really heavy drugs together back well, when. But, and there's still something going on between them. Well, he says no, but I think so. Of course. There's no question. Why else would he jump in, 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 into the situation and involve himself? And what was he doing at the thrifty at the same time? He's given her a ride there. And why had he been giving her rides places? What had they been doing? I don't know. You don't know. And you're well, he used to stay the night there, but he doesn't anymore. Look, Donna, I have to think. If you were my daughter, I would just say, you know, sweetheart, this was going to happen. Well, I don't live with my parents. I live with his parents. I said, if you were my daughter, I would say, sweetheart, you know this was going to happen when you moved in with him. I didn't have anywhere else to live at the time. That's So it's your desperation that led you there? Not really. I loved him. Yeah, but that love is often weighted by your own fear of being alone or out in the street or feeling that you're in trouble or can't make it on your own. Yeah. Whenever you make decisions out of desperation like that, they always go badly for you. So what are you going to do? I don't know. This guy has got, a, got problems. He's going to be a problem to you for the rest of your life. That's probably true. Okay. And he makes your life miserable. He makes unrealistic demands on you. He hits me sometimes, too, even, even though I'm pregnant. Sweetheart, this is a creep. Yeah, I agree. And what are you doing with him, and why are you keeping his baby? Because I've always wanted to have children. What, that child is an excuse for that man to be in your life, abuse you, beat up and torment the baby, and make your life miserable, and, and, and assign you to a life of welfare. Do you have any education? Yeah. What? Well, I'm almost finished with high school. And what do, you, what do you plan to do with your life? I'd like to go take my GED and get a job and make a life for myself. How are you going to do that with a baby and a husband who's abusive? Does he also drink? No, he's not a drinker. But he does what? Cocaine? No. Crack? Oh, no, he doesn't. He what used did he to. do? He used to do crack heavily with this girl. But he's never done it with me. Well, you don't know whether he was doing it with her, do you? No, I guess not. All right. So you don't know anything about this. This is a, all I can tell you is that this is a very bad choice, and anything you can, you can do to get out of this situation and free yourself is what you should do. So I should leave while he's in jail then. I I would get as much diff distance from him. He's not protecting you. He's not protecting the baby. He's not acting responsibly. He's abusing you. He's hitting you. He's doing all the bad things. And what you're saying is, go ahead, hit me. I'm here. No matter what you do, I'm too desperate and afraid to be on my own, and I'll just be here as your target. Swing away, sluggo. That's what you're saying to him. Because to a person like that, if you stay, you get permission to do whatever you want. Look at the experience with this other woman. Yeah. You have to take some responsibility. 
If you want to keep that child, you owe it to that child that that child is in a home where it will not be abused, beaten up, or where its mother will not be seen, smashed against walls, furniture broken, outrages, and this other woman coming in and out who he's going to leave with again. You can tell. He, he takes... makes me hide when she comes over. And you do it. But I no, I refuse to do it the last two times she's been here. Well, that's an improvement. And we've called her and told her twice what's um, going on, and she won't believe it. Well, She's too obsessed to this believe is, anything. Yeah, but this is a crazy woman you're exposed to. She'll try to kill you and the baby. She told him she was going to break into the house and cut him up in little pieces. But I tell out. you, you're being warned, and I'm telling you this may be the only warning you get. Yeah, that's T true. Take this seriously. You know something, Donna? You represent right now to me the most disturbing call I have ever received on the air. You are a person who could be in mortal danger, and you are in such denial and in such desperation that I can't get through to you. I would get the hell out of there. I would go to a battered woman's refuge. Well, I can go to my mom's now. Go. Okay. The situation is not safe. Pack and go. Well, I'm already packed. <laughs> go. Tomorrow morning, you arrive at your mom. Well, she lives far, but I have a um, doctor's appointment on Tuesday, and she's supposed to call me, and then she's supposed to come get me after that for a vacation. But Well, I would get over there. Let her know what's happened. You have to He's get in jail now, so he can't harm me right now. What and about so he? Well, you have a... Re they a both are, so right. I'm safe until my mom comes. Get out of there. You've got to save yourself. It's no joke. You have a life to take care of now that isn't your own. That's what being a parent's about. You may be able to take risks for yourself, but if you let this baby be born into a situation where it's abused, you are also the abuser. You've got to do what you have to do to protect yourself, and that means you have to give up your denial. If you're in danger, you have to fight for your life. You stay tuned. We'll be right back.